We are keeping a close eye on the Delta variant and the number of cases in Missouri and Kansas. The Kansas City Health Department reports cases have tripled in the past 30 days. There is a microbiologist who predicted all of this. He studies wastewater and the viral discharge we flush down toilets. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racono. I'm kind of numb at this point. Meet Mark Johnson. He studies wastewater. It's been one of the most accurate predictors in this pandemic. With Delta, it just, it spread so fast. Johnson says the first place Delta was detected in Missouri was actually Branson. Then it traveled to Licking, Missouri and Lynn County. It had the opposite path of the UK variant, which hit big cities first. Delta is moving rural to big city. It is just so highly contagious, it seems, that it took over pretty much the whole state about in about three weeks. Springfield and Joplin have been nailed. Kansas City and St. Louis are on the back end of this spread. So we've been keeping a close eye on the Missouri Sewer Shed Surveillance Project. New numbers were updated over the weekend. A red triangle means the viral load is growing. Kansas City's numbers are spiking. Take a look at Westside, Kansas City, Birmingham, Liberty and Fishing River. You can see the increase. The only area staying flat is North, Platte City, Todd Creek, and Rocky Branch. Once it starts, it just has been a rise and a rise and a rise. And like I said, you know, places it was first were like Joplin and Springfield. And they, last time I checked, their numbers are still going up. Um, they haven't reached a plateau yet. Johnson points to Columbia, Missouri, and Boone County, which boasts the highest vaccination rate. They are struggling with Delta, too, which isn't good news. I think the message that not everyone is quite getting is that this pandemic is going to be over when everyone has either been infected or vaccinated. He says other variants have fizzled out, but Delta keeps spreading. Angie Bracono, KCTV 5 News. The president and CEO of Cox Health released these pictures today on Twitter, inviting people to take a look at what he calls an avoidable surge. 97% of all hospitalized patients are unvaccinated. Many of the critically sick are in their 40s and 50s, some even younger. There are currently 140 patients at Cox Health. In May, there were about 20 per day.